Welcome once again to keep on learning online class. And my name is teacher Emmanuel, a teacher of geography. Today we are going to learn geography where we are still on the practical geography. But our intention of today is about a sketch map and map reduction. and map and enlargement. Map and enlargement. This is our intention of today. A sketch map and map reduction and also map and enlargement. So let's start by a sketch map. When we talk of a sketch map, what do you understand? When you talk of a sketch map, a sketch map is an outline of map that is drawn from observation. Meaning that there is an original map here. We have an original map here. And this, if this is an original map, you observe by using your eyes, for example, you observe, suppose that this is, a map, this is an original map of Africa. This original map of Africa, if you want to draw it again, you observe it seriously by looking for physical features and man-made features on that map, and then you imitate, and you draw it here again. So, such activity is what we call a sketch map. Simply, a sketch map is an outline, is an outline map that is drawn, that is drawn from observation. Observation. I think this definition of a sketch map is very easy and clear to understand. And now, we are also going to look at map reduction and map enlargement. Map reduction and map enlargement. Map enlargement. Before talking about map reduction and map enlargement, I want you to know different methods of enlarging and reducing map. Normally we have two main methods. Two main, main methods of map, map enlargement and map reduction and reduction and reduction. Let's start by method number one. Method number one is what we call method of square. Method of square. So meaning that it is made of squares. Squares. And you have also method of triangle. Method? Method of triangle. Method of triangle. Those are two methods of enlarging map. So let me start by map enlargement. Map enlargement. Map enlargement. About map enlargement, let's start by using a square. For example, if you have a map which looks like this, Suppose that this is a map of Africa. Suppose that this is a map of Africa. And on this map of Africa, we want to enlarge, to make it big. So enlargement of map is the expansion of the size of the original map. Suppose that this original map, if it was too small, and they want to enlarge it, or want to make it as big, 
the increasing the size of this original map, it's what you call map enlargement. Meaning that if this map is made of, let me see, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. There are four squares. Four squares. It means if there were four squares and they want to enlarge this map, we are going to multiply it by two. And therefore, shall be having eight squares. How? One square is going to be multiplied by two, meaning that it's going to be doubled. For example, one, two, three, four. We are going to make to enlarge. To enlarge. To enlarge this map. This map, when you look at it, you may find that this map is small. And you want to make it big or to enlarge. So we are going to multiply. When you look at this square, you may find that this is a double of this. This is a double, this square is a double of this one. And this also is a double of this one. Meaning that uh, this small square has been doubled, has been multiplied by two. And therefore it become big. So it's what you call map enlargement. Increasing the size of the original map. And we are going to draw this map of Africa. Therefore, this is an enlarged map of Africa. So, this indicates that this small map has been enlarged, has been increased its size. So that is map enlargement by using a method of square. Let's also see map reduction. Map reduction. Reduction. Map reduction is the decreasing, decreasing the size, decreasing the size, the size of the original map. Of the original, original map. Meaning that the original map was too big and you want to make it as small. So we shall take the big one and we divide it by two. You take big square, a square, and you divide by two. Let me give you an example. Suppose that this is a map of a certain country of Africa. This is a map of a certain country of Africa. And this map, it was too big. Suppose that this is a map of a certain country of Africa. And it, we want to reduce this map. We want to make this map as small. How can we do this? You take this square and you measure it its perimeter and then you divide it by two so that you can see how many centimeters are made, that are made of this square and you do it like this one two three four half four squares one two three then four one two three, then four. Meaning that this map has been reduced into a small one. And then we are going to reduce its size. What does it mean? This map was too big, but when you look at the, the, the new map that has been drawn, is too small. Therefore, that is what you call map reduction and this was a method of square we have also another method of triangle let's look at a method of triangle method method of triangle how do we 
make a method of triangle. How do we use the method of triangle by enlarging and reducing the map? So here we have a point. We have also another, we have two points here. We have also two points here. We have also two points here. For example, we have A, B, C, D, E, and F. When you look at this shape, you may find that this is a shape of a triangle. And you know, just under like you know, triangle is made of a three side. And you are going to see how a map can be reduced or increased its original size by using this method of triangle. For example, uh, suppose that this is a map of a given country of Africa. This is a map of a given country of Africa. If we want to make it as big, we are going to increase its size by using this. So whenever we are coming from this side, going to forward, going to forward direction, you may find that the size of this, the size of the two lines is increasing, going inwards. Sorry, going outwards, going to this direction. What does it mean? If this map is looking as if it is too small, whenever you put another, if you put another map here, the size of that map is increasing because the size of this place is bigger than the size of this place. And if you put also another map on this side, on this side, you may find that this map is bigger than this. What does it mean? From here to map which covers this A, B is going to be bigger than to C, D and C, D is going to be bigger than E, F. Sorry, E, F is going to be bigger than C, D. What does it mean? It means coming from this point, going to this direction, we are making what you call map enlargement. And coming from this side, going to this direction, we are making what you call map reduction. I think the two methods of increasing or decreasing the size of map are very easy to understand. As we have said previously, we have two methods. We have methods of square and method of triangle and method of triangle. So the two methods are very important because they help us to reduce or to increase the size of the map. Thank you very much for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe, to like and give comment so that you can keep on improving our teaching and running practice. Have a nice time.